People of Reddit, has someone ever challenged you to something you are an expert at without them knowing? If so, how did it turn out? Classmate challenged me to a handstand contest not knowing that I've been a gymnast for 19 years. Got $100 and bragging rights. When Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon came out I bought Sun, my niece bought Moon. I am 32 and have played since I was a little guy, she was a first time player. After a couple months of playing she carkily challenges me to battle, like constant trash talk. I destroyed her. Like not even close to being close. As the battle ends I look up in triumph and she is crying. Like shaking crying. She throws her DS down and runs off to her room. I felt like the biggest a-hole in the world. Years ago I was at a beach with a couple of my friends. We were all teenagers at the time no older than 16 if I remember correctly. There was a group of older guys, probs in their mid to late 20s, sitting next to us, playing music, having some beers, and overall just being loud and kind of obnoxious. They started arguing about how far a nearby island, that was visible from the beach, was, and whom of them would be the fastest to swim there. One of the guys said he's by far the fastest swimmer on the entire beach and loudly yelled that he challenges anyone to a race to the island winner gets 100 euros and he was looking at making an easy buck. No one on the beach really paid attention, but since we were sitting right next to them, I said I'll race him for a 100. The whole group of guys burst out laughing with tears in their eyes, and the challenger guy said he didn't mean children when he said anyone. He looked me up and down and held his laugh but eventually said okay, it'll be easy money for me so why not? Or something within those lines. Little did he know, however, that I was swimming in my country's juniors national team, and was training for London 2012 Olympics at the time. So it's safe to say I was a superb swimmer and fast as hell in the water. So we raced to the island and I obviously beat him by several minutes, yes, minutes. Easiest 100 euros I've probably ever made and the satisfaction of returning to the beach after the race when all the guy's friends were mocking him for losing to a teenager girl was priceless. Guy told me all about how airplanes work, which planes are good, which are bad, you name it. Talked for an hour while sitting at the airport. I'm an airline pilot. My nephews thought they could bring Smash into my house. Oh you picked Fox? Uncle Minorkin you must have never played this before have you? Hahaha, <laughs> he's not very good. They don't want to play video games with mean Uncle Minorwokin anymore after not being allowed to touch the ground. I did this while in college to my then girlfriend's nephew. I used to play the sheet out of Brawl and got insanely good with Marth and Ike but I was playing a 9 year old. He chose Mario and since he was 9, I chose Peach which he thought was hilarious that I was playing a girl. I kicked his ass. Literally to shot him in the second round. Then went home and fricked his aunt. I remember once in high school, there was an assembly in front of the entire school. Can't remember the exact topic, but at one point the teacher pulls up a slide showing the village in Wales with a 58 letter name, Langfert Will Gwingilgajerich Windrob Will and Tassilia Gogagoch. Then he points straight at me and says can you say that, obviously thinking whoever he points at is not gonna be able to do it. Little did he know that my dad had been able to say it as one of his party tricks, and had been teaching me for years. Yes, I enjoyed that day. Tetris. A version for Nintendo DS exists where you can link up via download, your cleared lines get sent to the other player's screen, so it's a battle. The only other difference is you get a faster drop option. Freshman in college, on a trip and my friend was pretty confident, and determined. He could beat me at a game. 34 undefeated games, just with him, and almost 2 hours determined that was a lie. People started taking turns after he gave up. Still undefeated. My 9 year old cousin challenged me to a round of Mario Kart, whatever the latest iteration is, he got it last Christmas. After thoroughly handing his ass to him, I pointed out to him that I've been playing the game since before he was born. My nephew tried this sheet. He was doing 50cc races and winning and thought he could take me. The fool. I've been playing Mario Kart since the beginning, even before his father was alive. 
At the end of the party a colleague of mine took out his box and asked with a large grin if we wanted to play the fighting game, dead or alive. I was obsessed with it when I was younger but never told anyone I even play video game. He didn't took a single round with his best character while I was drunkenly playing random characters. I even let someone else that never played the game before win a round twice of my colleague. I got challenged to a tennis match by a housemate during dinner. He thought that because I was fat he would beat me easily. After some deliberately condescending comments from me he got agitated and we settled on a bet. Loser runs home naked, about 2 miles through the city. I was indeed fatter than him. My freshman 15 had become a 30. I also had 12 years of competitive tennis under my belt. Nothing spectacular in terms of talent. I had just liked the game a lot, but certainly enough skill to send his skinny as walking. I almost died laughing after the first game already because he was terrible at tennis. What the frick was he thinking? It's pretty well known that I'm good at 10 pin bowling. On a work trip recently, my co-workers drunkenly decided to challenge me to a game. And to make it fair, you can only bowl with your left hand I beat them solidly, am left handed. I did some student teaching in a middle school, and some of my kids challenged me to a Pokemon trivia contest. I wiped the frickin floor with them. Casuals. Speed ice skating. There was this really douchy guy in our group of friends who felt the need to show me up one night when a bunch of us were skating. I had played hockey growing up, unbeknownst to him, so I agreed to his challenge to race. After I lapped him, a few times, he just started laughing at himself realizing how cocky he had been. Turns out he was actually a really kind and caring guy, just so socially inept that it came across as rude. We became pretty good friends and I remember during a really bad flu I missed a few events and he was the only one who thought to call me up and see how I was doing. He got married recently and I couldn't be happier for him. In my first few weeks of this deployment, I was challenged to chess matches pretty frequently, but nobody wants to play me anymore, I grew up playing chess. I've played against my dad a million times and only ever beaten him twice. As of a couple years ago I started teaching my son how to play. As a second grader, he was whooping fourth grader at chess. Good times. School. I was a weather forecaster in the Air Force, and even though I had completed all the official training and received an AS degree, I didn't have a BS and wanted one. So I enrolled in a university program in atmospheric science and meteorology. They were willing to transfer all of my credits from CCAF and stuff I had prior to enlisting and courses I took on base, but I had to have at least 10 hours from the ASM department for the degree. So I am in my lab class doing a streamline analysis on the exact chart region I have been doing twice a day, 15 times a month for almost 4 years. For most people in the class, it was their first time doing one. It was a 3 hour lab, everyone had 2 hours to do the chart, but I knocked mine out in about 20 minutes it was my day off, so I didn't feel like hanging around. I turned it in and asked if there was anything else, because if not, I wanted to leave early. So this grad student teaching the class who's never actually worked in the field, starts throwing me attitude and saying I should go back and look at my chart again and take my time with it instead of being in a rush to go skulk around the student union or something. I said whatever or something like that and went back to my light table and started gathering my stuff to leave. So he calls me out in front of the class and decides everyone should stop so they can see what happens when someone rushes through their work, and how many mistakes that kind of thing leads to. So he starts nitpicking the little sheet no one actually cares about outside of the classroom like not having totally uniform spacing, style of neutral points, or how I drew in my troughs and things like that. Stuff that was more style than actual substance. Then he dings me for buffer zone not on the master chart used for grading. I said whoever did the original screwed up because the data says there's a buffer zone where I had it. So he looks at the chart, an old dot chart which were made available to any college that would request them so long as they were 2 years old and declassified, and he points at the name in the corner date stamp block of it next to analyst and says so you think you know better than SRA, SRA, does and I started laughing and said yeah I do, 
because SRA is me, and I'm now SSGT and I know a hell of a lot more now than I did 3 years ago when I put that thing together. The class was amused, he wasn't. Too long didn't read, the department chair let me complete a package of lab work independently and turn it in. He said after further thought, he decided it was a little ridiculous I was taking class from someone I should actually be teaching. If you liked this video, then you might like, what's a free service that most people don't know about? Or some of these other videos. Thanks for watching.